The Eiffel Tower at night. Golden, even sparkly at the top of every hour. Just like a smooth bottle of brute champagne. So romantic. Not even the rats can spoil it. Nowhere else would you just lay down and look up as they scurry around, but this is the power of Paris and its indelible icon that you always catch yourself trying to find peeking over the rooftops. When you're down below, the Eiffel Tower appears to be several different colors, actually. It depends on the part of the day, the different lighting, but when you're up close and personal, you can see it's painted actually this really boring khaki brown color. Nighttime is my favorite. The best view, far above the rat race, on top of the Arc de Triomphe. The view worth the climb, and close to closing, you nearly have it to yourself. If this view isn't to die for, how about this? The catacombs, an ossuary created in the 18th century in abandoned underground quarries. Large cemeteries had become full and unsanitary, so the remains of millions were moved here. This macabre curiosity has been drawing tourists since the 19th century. Unfortunately, some ignore any semblance of respect for the dead, using flash photography, taking selfies, even touching some of the remains. A visit here is a good reminder, life is short. Good thing Notre Dame Cathedral is nearby where you can light a candle and say a prayer. One of the largest church buildings in the world, masses of tourists are still allowed to wander underneath its gothic arches while an actual mass is underway. After filling your soul, it's so easy to fill your belly. Food is divine in Paris. So good I want to cross the Atlantic just to taste it again. For most of my life, I thought Paris would not be for me. But I didn't realize she would have this certain je ne sais quoi.